Hi, I'm Keith Burley, creator of the Reef Aquarium DVD and Reef Aquarium TV, here to show you the Reef Life Support Systems DB10 Internal Protein Skimmer. Quite frankly, I'm absolutely thrilled to be installing this beautiful skimmer into my system. I will be replacing an old Beckett style skimmer that is over four feet tall. Initially, I was a little skeptical that a small skimmer could actually skim my tank better than a large Beckett. But after talking with the engineers at Reef Life Support Systems, I feel confident that my tank will be taking a leap forward with more quality cleaning while saving me money on my energy bill. The design of the DB system is revolutionary and has won many awards. The DB system's protein skimmers have the largest shaft that hold the pinwheels, three times the size of their competitors in this price range. Attached to the pinwheels are unique bristles. No one else in the industry does what Reef Life Support System does with the two sizes on each bristle. The wider or bigger bottom of the bristle is for stability. The smaller or top side is for maximizing bubbles. This gives your unit strength, longevity, and lots of bubbles. The design of this system is brilliant. By turning the pump upside down, the water starts turning all the way at the bottom instead of eight or 10 inches up the skimmer. This maximizes the whole space of the skimmer for bubbles, making the whole skimmer more efficient. Trace elements such as calcium, magnesium, iodine, and stromium are extremely small, while proteins or fish wastes are a hundred times larger than the trace elements. Many skimmers can over skim tanks and take out many of those trace elements that you are trying to keep in. Not so with the DB system skimmers because of the design allows the bubbles to turn around the cone many times before reaching the collection cup. This circular motion allows longer contact time. Even though the DB10 is only 22 inches tall, the total dwell time is equivalent to a 48 inch tall skimmer. This translates to a better removal of proteins and less trace elements, helping to keep more of what you want in your tank and less of what you don't. Another great feature about this DB10 skimmer is its efficient DC pump. Not only is this more cost effective to run than its AC counterpart, but you have a great deal more control over the speed of the pump as well. You can run the pump higher or lower and there is a feed mode. The feed mode is great when you are feeding a small type of food such as Cyclopes. The fish and corals don't always get all of the small food right away and this way it gives your tank's inhabitants more time and chances to eat. Also, if you want to buy the skimmer for a smaller tank, you could just run the pump at a lower level. Then if you upgrade your tank to a larger size, your skimmer is ready to go. The 30 minute feed mode can also be used to shut down the pump when cleaning the collection cup. No need to adjust the gate valve or unplug the pump. When resuming, the pump will restart at the same speed position. The DB10 is most efficient when it has a constant water level in your sump. This particular model, the DB10 sits well in eight inches of water. The DB8 sits well in six to eight inches of water and the DB12 does its best in eight inches of water as well. Measure your sump and make sure you have enough clearance for your skimmer. Measure the water from the bottom of the sump. The water in my sump is 12 inches deep, so I need a base that is four inches tall. Fortunately, I had a leftover piece of acrylic and I used a handsaw to cut it into a base and legs. Then I epoxied the legs onto the base to make it four inches. Check the aquarium specialty website as soon they will be selling higher quality bases for you to put your skimmer on. Before I put the skimmer in, I have to make over my sump. Out go the sump light, live rock, calerpa, and mangroves. Once everything is clean, I put my four inch platform onto the bottom of my sump to act as a little table. Next, we sit the base of the unit with the top off onto the table, making sure our platform is stable. Now we put the top of the skimmer on. Next, we plug in the DB10 and test the skimmer. Now that we see it works, we can mount the pump controller in a place so it won't get wet and we will have easy access to it. Here you could see that we are testing our levels with the speed of our pump. Also, you could adjust the height of the skimmer with this valve that is labeled high and low. Since I have 235 gallons of water in my system, I will be running the skimmer on high most of the time. My new Reef Life Support DB10i has been running for four days now, and this is what the collection cup looks like. As you can see, we are getting plenty of protein waste accumulating right where we want it. One of the great things about the DB10i is the design to allow for easy cleaning. You just twist the collection cup 
and lift it off the base. The new Reef Life Support DV-10i is a great skimmer that is versatile and extremely efficient. I look forward to having this unit in my system for many years to come. If you have any questions about the DB Series Protein Skimmers or would like to order one, you could call 803-788-4445 or visit us at AquariumSpecialty.com.